hey guys. Well, today was the first day that I went live. And this morning I was talking to one of my subscribers and she had mentioned that she would like to see me make an apple pie. So thank you, Tracy, for the suggestion. Today I'll be making a lazy apple pie. So this apple pie is for you, Tracy. So if you didn't know it, I worked in a bakery for 20 years. So making pies and making pastries is not my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to make this as lazy as possible, but it's going to be a good pie. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And this is the easiest way I know how to make it. So, so I am only using what I have. I was not prepared for this. This was recommended from a viewer. So I'm just doing this because I had things in hand. And I think I have enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the pie crust I got at Frugal's for 50 cents. This is, uh, I got this at the beginning of the summer with my sister. So it's been in my freezer since then. So it's time to use it up. So in this package comes two pie crusts. One for the top, one for the bottom. Then I got my apples. These are gala apples. I have four of them. So I'm just going to peel them, core them. And then we're going to do our thing. So let me show you how I, I will core them. So I got this thing here. I don't know what you call it. The coronator. There we go. I'll call it the coronator. So it's very easy to use. You just take your apple. But first, let's stick it in there. So you know what? Come this way. Gotta make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Then you just then you just twirl. Well, I need you to see what's going on. So there. Am I going the wrong way or what? What's going on here? It's not doing what it's supposed to do. There. Why is this thing fucking not in my way? I don't know why this thing is doing that. It's being a jerk. It's pissing me off. Probably just because they won't eat it. But these go to my chipmunks. And to RJ because they love it. RJ will take this, pieces of this, put it in a tree, put it on the railing, let it dry, let it ferment. And I sometimes thinks he gets drunk because he doesn't come back for three days after. So I think he gets too wasted. Okay, so I'm just going to shake this up. Kind of separates from each other. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of lemon juice. I've got some real lemon juice here. I'm just going to put a little bit in there so it doesn't brown. We'll hold it from browning. Then I'm going to shake it up a little bit again. Shake it, 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 shake it. Break up bigger pieces. Put another fat size pieces. See what got they're all stacked together real good. And then you just crack them up. Break them up in half. Now I'm gonna add some cinnamon. And I'm using Sagon cinnamon. And I'm using Sagon cinnamon. So I'm going to put a lot of cinnamon because I don't want it too sweet, right? Because I'm not going to be using sugar like most people do. Because I'm trying to wean off the sugar and I'm supposed to go sugar free this month. But... So we have Chris Duck. Stevia. So I'm going to put a packet of that for a little sweetness. It's better than the white sugar that you get. 
and the brown sugar. There we go. But if you like white sugar or if you don't mind white sugar, you can reuse white sugar. So this is going to be a tart, a tart pie for us, which is fine. I'm going to put a little bit more cinnamon because we love cinnamon. Just coat it with cinnamon. cinnamon. And this is stronger cinnamon, Sagon. So. Okay. There we go. All right. So I got myself a glass pie plate, a nine inch glass pie plate. And we're going to unroll the two rolls of dough that we have from the package. It's been sitting out for a while now. So we're going to just... Now there's one that's a split one, I remember. So this is the top. Okay, so we're going to just do, do the bottom one. Okay, so there's one that's a full one and there's one that's half and half. You'll see what I mean by half and half. The one that's half and half we use in the bottom. And they made a liar out of me. Last time it was half and half. Let's see if the other one is like that. No? Okay. Well, maybe that's why... It wasn't like I said, okay. So just put that in there. Like that. Just press it around. Just all around the pie. And there we go. Oh shoot. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so it's nice and you know. Then we just take all the apples that you have here and dump it in. Like that, nice and easy. This is the easiest, fastest way to make an apple pie. And no one will know. You could say you made it from scratch if you want. It doesn't matter. People will still love your pie. I wonder if I should put raisins in here. Oh yeah, that should be a great idea actually. Put some raisins. Should I put raisins? Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple raisins in there. Just for extra flavor. Now I have my oven set at 400. And when that's ready and that's ready to go in, I'll put it in for... <clears throat> 40 to 50 minutes. You have to keep an eye on it. We're going to concoct a little bit because Jay wants honey on his pie. In his pie. So I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Just a little drizzle of it. Not too much because we don't want that much sugar. Right? So this is um, organic honey. It is, yeah, just organic honey. And it's an amber organic honey. Now I've got some yellow raisins. So I'm just going to put some in there. And I just thought of something that might just be actually good. I think I've seen this in a recipe book, and this is why I'm thinking this right now. I'm going to put bacon grease on there. Now, I don't know why that came to mind. Um, it must have been something I seen in an old recipe book when I was younger or something because I used to be obsessed with older recipe books. So it's something I might have picked up in a recipe. So I'm just going to put the bacon grease from this morning. I just warmed it up in the microwave. I had bacon this morning and I still had some left over from the bacon. So I'm just going to put that all over, kind of mix it up a little bit. And it would give it an extra good flavor, I think. I think it would be great. There we go. 
So I think what we're going to do is because we're not, we're trying to watch your sugars this month. I'm going to cut it in four and we'll have a piece each. And then the other ones are just going to go in the freezer and we'll have another piece next week. Cause we're going to have a cake this week. I'm going to be making a <clears throat> keto. Well, not really keto, but <laughs> I'm going to be making a spice cake, a pumpkin spice cake. I want to make a keto. Then I seen a, uh, someone make it and it looks so nice and easy and my family would really enjoy it. So I thought I'd make that. All right, so that's done. Nice and done. Nice and easy guys. So I'm just going to add this on top. Come on. There we go, actually. Yeah, yeah like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to take the sides, kind of push it down, put it together. It's called flute. I think it's called flute it together. So first I'll go all around and then I'll flute it. Like I used to work in a bakery, like I said, in my live video earlier this morning, but everything came in frozen. So I packaged a lot, baked a lot, but I never actually did it by hand like this. Back when I was younger, um, with my first, when I lived in my first apartment, I used to make pies and cakes from scratch <clears throat> because we couldn't really afford to make it in any other, any way, you know what I mean? So... But uh, yeah, I'm not one for making pies from scratch or making breads from scratch. If I could do it the easy way, great. This is from scratch as much as I think. Like it's not sexy or pretty. None of my cooking is. But it's delicious, delicious. It's always delicious. That's why I'm so fat. Because my cooking is great. That's why Jay and I are both fat, because my cooking is great. Okay, so I kind of like just pinch it around, you know? Just so the two, the bottom and the sides, oh, sorry, the bottom and the top kind of, you know, stick together and seal together. And I'm just going to flatten that down a little bit with a fork. Like I said, it's nothing, it's not professional. Well, it is professional. It's not um, TV uh, perfect, you know what I mean? Like everything on the TV commercials and TV shows are perfect. Well, this is the Natty channel and nothing is perfect. It's just the matter of I'm making a pie. I'm showing you how to make a pie and you can make a pie and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be tasty. It just has to be flavorful. And it just has to be something that you made yourself. Something to be proud of. That's all that matters. You made it, you're proud of it, tastes good, that's it. All right, so I'm going to put two holes here. One, two, I'm going to put three there. Just the, the steam comes out of those holes, right? So the oven's ready. I'm going to put that on a pan. Find one. And it's going in for 40 minutes and I'll take a look at it. And then we're going to Actually, it says within 20 minutes, you got to put a foil around the crust so it doesn't burn. So we'll put it in for 20 minutes. Then I'll put the, the foil around the crust so the crust doesn't burn. And we'll go from there. Hey, guys. Well, if you want to follow me, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. So follow me. Just look up Natty Homemaker and go ahead and add me. 
I tend to update every day. So if you want more info, more updates, that's where you'll find me. I'm such a busy girl. Not only am I doing apple pie, I have to cook Jay's lunch for work today. Well, I cooked up some bacon earlier, so I'm going to use the bacon grease in the same pan because all that bacon goodness is in there. And I'm going to make up some pork schnitzel that I picked up the other day at uh, Food Basics for $4.44. It's going to have that with some potatoes, air fried potatoes for supper tonight. Work lines for the man. I should wait till that's warmed up a little bit more and then we're going to do that. Spoiled man, spoiled man, spoiled man, spoiled man. And yes, he is. Spoiled man, spoiled man, spoiled man, spoiled man. Spoiled man. Yes, he is. All right. Four nice pieces for 444. Beautiful angel number 444. So he's going to have that with potatoes for his lunch tonight. He'll be like, babe, that's the best. That is the best. He loves his schnitzels. Schnitzels. Schnitz Bavarian pork schnitzel. There we go. Hey, Tracy, I never thought of this, but I thought about it just now. I could have done the apple pie live next time. One of these days I'm going to do, well, now that I know I could go live, I'm going to do a recipe live. Spoiled man, spoiled man, spoiled man, what a mighty spoiled man. Yes, she is. Do, 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 do. Making in potatoes in the air fryer. So I take the baby potatoes, I cut them in half, I put a little bit of oil, put the spices I want. So today I'm just going to put some, uh, he made it the other day with rosemary and that was quite good. Maybe I'll do that. Rosemary and a little bit of sea salt. I think that's it, yeah. So let's get rosemary. I think next year I'm going to have a big herb garden instead of a vegetable garden because I wasn't really doing much with that vegetable garden this year but next year I'm gonna do it with herbs because I use a lot of herbs a lot of spices and stuff so okay so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the olive oil <clears throat> not too much and a little bit of sea salt shake it up and put it in the air fryer for six minutes then shake it up and put it in another six minutes and it's ready. Well, being a housewife, a homemaker, part of my duties is I make my man's breakfast, lunch, and supper, snacks and stuff like that. But we also take turns doing breakfasts, making breakfast. <clears throat> so today was his turn to make breakfast. But he didn't want to do it. He's like, I'll give you five bucks. I'll give you five bucks. Please make breakfast. I don't feel like it. I said, really, you'll give me five bucks. He's like, yes, please, anything. Just make breakfast. So I took the five bucks. So now I made breakfast. I'm making his lunch for work. I'm making an apple pie. And I still have to make him lunch before he goes to work. So I'm going to make him uh, simple vegetable soup in a can with some chow mein noodles. He'll be happy with that. <clears throat> but that's the life of a homemaker. But you know what? I choose to do this. I choose to do this because it makes my man happy. He's a good provider. He's a great man. He makes me happy. So I do what I can for him. I cook for him. I do his laundry. I keep his house clean. Life is a homemaker. Hey, everything's gonna go off at the same time soon so it's like Arr! all right so we've got this it's just done now it's uh, a couple more minutes I'd say we'll be ready the only thing it sticks to the pan no matter how much water you put or whatever it always sticks to the pan I have it on low so I don't know what the hell I put the lid on so it stays nice and a little crispy okay 
So the potatoes, let's go flip those. Shake it up. There are six minutes. Stop. Pie, it's gonna come out in one minute, so I gotta put the foil around the crust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hole in the middle of this sheet of aluminum foil. And take out the middle. All right, so pie, get that timer off. Is what you do, you put the pie crust under foil so it does not burn. Like your fingers, because my fingers are burning now. I want to get. This foil sucks. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I want to go around. Finger here, burn my finger there. Jesus. And Jay, don't be laughing, and boy, I can hear you laughing in the living room. Uh, I, I, I would he, he's a little sadistic. Whenever I hurt myself, he giggles. Okay. Good enough. I put that in the oven. <clears throat> for another 20 minutes and then we'll take a nap. take a peek at it it's going pretty well right now oh fuck stay mm. it's not doing anything. good vibrations good vibrations good vibrations so this is a simple lunch vegetable soup put one can in there then one can of water. I'm just gonna eye it. There we go. A little bit of chili powder. Just gonna put a little bit in there. We'll change it up a little bit today. Just a little bit and then I guess it would help if you turn on the stove there, Natty. So this is how I make my vegetable soup for Jay in the afternoon. So I put a little bit of the chow mein noodles at the bottom of the bowl. And then, oh, I can't forget my Monterey Jack cheese. I don't have any shredded cheese, so I'm just going to cut some pieces up. Just little pieces here. Just so it gives it a nice cheesy flavor. And then I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I have green onions, but I don't feel like cutting them up. I usually put green onion, but I'm not going to this time. And then I just take my vegetable soup and I pour it in here. There we go. And that's lunch. See? 
Can soup, can bayame. You can make a feast. Now, that cheese is going to melt, and I can incorporate that together. Mm -mm -mm. I love the chow mein noodles. I also put, um, sometimes put the onions, the dry onions. That's good, too. There you go. Soup du jour. Vegetable soup. And there's my man and my dinner. That's his work lunch. And a side of banana for dessert tonight. There we go. Baked potatoes. Two pieces of schnitzel each. Yum, yum. 16 seconds before the pie comes out. Let's have a bite of this soup. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Four seconds. Mm. It's pie time. All righty, it's pie time in Canada. Coast to coast, it's wake up time. Okay, don't slip, you fuckers. No, okay, I'm going to show you guys something. See here? It's got that darker color. That's not ready yet. It has to be a golden color like this. So this here is still raw. So I'm going to put it in for another 10 minutes. And look at that pie. It's starting to look really good. It smells so good, guys. Can't even imagine. So 10 more minutes, guys, and then it's going to be pie time. It's an apple pie. It's ready. It's an apple pie. It's ready. It's an apple, 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 apple pie. It's an apple pie and it's ready. Apple pie. Apple pie. Ba, ba, ba. Mmm, mm, smells good. Mmm, -hmm. yeah, it's all ready to go. Well, Jay, it doesn't look like you're going to have a piece because you got 15 minutes before you go to work. And it just came out of the oven, so. Guess you'll have to do a drive-by and uh, pick up a piece of pie later. Looks like I'm going to have to. Yeah. So drive by this way and uh, pick up a piece later. Maybe it'll be nice and I'll add whipped cream. Mm -hmm. I'm finally eating my lunch. So I had time to make a pie. Uh, make Jay's work lunch, the schnitzels and the potatoes. I had time to make the soup, do the dishes, clean the counters, and then my pie came out. So that took 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Pretty good, eh, guy? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, eh? Good time management. Now I'm enjoying my soup. Mm. Well, have a good day, cunt. See you next time. Cunt. See you next time. Well, I guess my cooking and cleaning is done for today. Turn off my lights. Dishes are done. Counters are clean. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And be sure to leave a comment below. Bye for now. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I still have to take a piece of that pie and show you what it looks like. It's still pretty hot. It's still pretty hot. But I'm gonna try having a piece because it looks really good. I'm just gonna have a small piece. Oh, yes. It's not the best spatula for that, and I don't have a smaller one. Oh. What do I have for this? Uh, the only thing I have is a cheese. A cheese thing. That would work, I guess. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's caramelized. 
Mm. Oh boy, look at that juice. Juicy. I'm going to eat it without cream so I can have the real taste of it. Okay, so this is a, a pie worth eating on the couch. So I want to sit down too. I was kind of tired. So here we go. Oh, look at the steam coming off that. See that? Mmm. Lots of cinnamon. Mmm. It's good. I put just enough cinnamon where it's like cinnamon. You know, you can taste the cinnamon. And it's got the tartness of the apple. It's kind of tarty. It's not like over sugar, you know, corn syrup kind of thing. You know, it's just... Mmm. This is nice. This is very nice. It's not the nice look, nicest looking, but who cares, right? It tastes amazing. This will be good with vanilla icing. This would be perfect, perfect with vanilla icing. Tracy, thank you so much for you made this ideal today because I had no idea what I was going to do today for a video. And when you said apple pie, I was like, hmm. Then Jay's like begging and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. So apple pie it is. Thanks again, Tracy. You know, guys, if you uh, have something you would like me to maybe bake or cook or something, let me know. Put it in the comments and you'll I'll add it to a list. Tracy also recommended I make Jamaican Christmas cake. So there we go. Tracy, if you actually have the recipe for that, um, go to Facebook, add me on Facebook under Natty Homemaker and send me that recipe. That way I could try out your recipe. If you got it offline, I'll just look for it offline. doesn't matter. But if you have the recipe for it, I'll do that. No problem. Mmm. Mmm. I forgot to put raisins in there. Oh, the raisins are good. If the lighting keeps on flashing like that, you know, flashing, it's because there's cars going by on the highway. It's like a shadow. One more bite, guys. Then I'll let you go. Let you go on with your day and I'll go on my day and we'll see each other again tomorrow. Last bite. Jay, if you're watching this, Mm. Mm. Really nice. Really nice. I'm impressed with this pie. So thanks for watching, guys, once again. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.